Hi everyone, today we're gonna make lightsaber and we'll have some fade effect on the uh, lightsaber. Uh, it will, at the beginning of the uh, lightsaber, there will be a much more uh, uh, dense light and it will lose its effect uh, gradually towards, towards the top of the light. And let's start with creating our material. So in order to make that fade effect, we need to uh, <coughs> need our world position and we're gonna subtract that world position from some parameters um, lightsaber first of all we need to mask z position z axis because we just on, we only just want to make some adjustments on z axis okay let's mask use component mask and use only blue channel because blue channel means it's a z axis and let's subtract uh, this z axis uh, from uh, one first let me represent this thing on a cube let's apply save okay I'm going to show you what actually does this uh, material graph and let's create a material instance we're gonna make some adjustments in the feature okay now now it look uh, it looks like it doesn't work because actually what does this uh, material graph is it subtract the world position Z position actually okay the Z position because we mask it only on blue channel and it means Z so it subtract the Z position Z world position of our material from one and we uh, plug it into a base color and it shows us in black and white because some values if we subtract some values from one um, they gain negative values they are negative values and a negative value means it's black and the uh, anything above one is white it's represent, represented white white so here we are above the uh, zero uh, grid z position our z position is zero okay on the on the grid actually uh, the z is zero okay and above something if we put something above our grid it's the world z position is above zero okay so if we send send this cube back to origin and if you hide the floor and you'll see and uh, the the parts of this cube which which is below the uh, grid mean it means zero is actually black why uh, here is shown in black because let's make some ma mathematics um, and if you subtract something negative values from one let's say the minus three here is a minus three let's say here is a minus three okay and uh, the minus 3 minus 1 is actually simple it's minus 4 and a minus 4 means here it's a, it's a, has a, some pixel value the minus uh, minus 4 pixel value because we plug it into base color now the world position z world position is represented here in colors okay so it's minus 1 let's add a cube here um, sphere here sorry let's add sphere and its world z position is 530 530 means it's a 530 centimeters a 5.30 maybe it's a 5 meters let's say okay and if i go below here so you see here is um, let's say here is zero okay now the origin of this sphere is snapped to the grid Okay, and here is zero and as you can see and below if you subtract some Z position from one they will gain negative values okay if you subtract something here is actually here um, this location the Z uh, position is actually minus 180 okay if you subtract the one minus 180 from one it is obviously uh, minus 181 okay this mesh has a pixel uh, pixel value and it is minus 181 
and it's uh, since it's uh, below the zero it's shown black here okay and let's go back to uh, an enable floor so let's how we gonna adjust uh, this uh, the Z value okay let me go back here and <clears throat> so since it's subtract one we can change and give it a some parameter to adjust uh, the subtraction okay we can subtract some big amounts and low lower amount uh, okay let's use a parameter here and let's say here start and let's uh, give default value as 100 so the everything below 100 <coughs> will be black okay the z value everything of this object z position from 0 to 1 or 0 uh, yes from 0 to 1 till the uh, until the 100 it it will show it will be shown in black okay let's apply and save okay here is in 1 centimeter the everything above everything below 100 centimeter is shown in black for this mesh because we applied uh, the texture uh, to it and the 100 centimeter means uh, it's one meter so let's where is our sphere let's add a sphere again um, let me add sphere or we can add the actual plane okay and let's give it a hundred z position and as you can see it's exactly 100 position one meter here is a one meter is exactly one meter and everything below uh, 100 meter, uh, sorry, 100 centimeter, one meter is in shown in black. And we can adjust uh, this thing, the starting parameter, because we make made it a um, parameter. So if I increase here, as you can see, the black color getting higher and higher because we subtract the Z position of this object from this number and it means now that everything below this number is shown in black okay okay nice since we get it we can continue let's make it higher now let's continue now we are gonna make that fade effect so in order to make that fade effect we need to divide uh, we need to divide this value uh, to some parameter let's divide it okay then I'm gonna show you why we uh, divide this number to parameter effect so fade effect and this fade effect has a default value uh, 100 okay so apply save so now as you can see we have a fade effect and if we increase this fade effect so it gains much more black blackish the fade fall off is getting higher and higher okay so why we divide and why we get this effect let me um, increase this to something like here and I'm just making this for point pointing point out the place okay okay nice here is um, one uh, 1230 centimeters it is actually uh, it's roughly uh, it's 30 uh, 12 meters okay here is a 12 meters so first of all the Unreal Engine subtract the hundred from 30 meters okay let's say 12 12 12 meters sorry first of all unreal engine subtract 30 uh, sorry 12 uh, meters so if we subtract 12 meters 12 let's say uh, 12 let's say in centimeters 1230 centimeters as you can see here and if we subtract this from 100 we'll get 1130 centimeters okay and then what the engine does is uh, it divides 
this uh, value to 100. If we divide this value to 100, we'll have 11.3. Uh, and so, what does it mean? Uh, yes, let's, sorry, let's ma make it again. So, first of all, we uh, made the calculation wrong. Um, we uh, first of all we subtract uh, this z value uh, 1230 centimeters okay from this value 1221 roughly 1221 okay so first of all we subtract that value and we divide it to we divide it to 400. 22 okay 422 and it gives us 0 0.02 so what it means is this exact this point the pixel color the pixel value is to uh, 0 0.02 so uh, what we uh, as we said at the beginning of the video the everything 0 and the between 0 and 1 shown in uh, gray color if the sum values, the values uh, which are closer to 1, shown in a little bit lighter, gray color but lighter, and everything below, um, let's say 50 or uh, 20, uh, shown in much more darker, uh, darker color, in darker colors, okay? So here is closer to, uh, it's, uh, it's really close to uh, black. Uh, so it's and the pixel color is actually 0 0.02 okay if I increase the fade effect the fade effect the part of uh, the, uh, the mesh here the pixel value actually is getting closer to the zero because why first of all we uh, subtract this amount we should subtract 1230 minus uh, starting 1,221, we'll 9, okay, and if we divide this value to 3,966, we uh, will have much more smaller number. So this means that if we, um, even though we changed, uh, we didn't, we didn't change the starting, uh, Eventually, we divided this number, this that nine, uh, the number nine, to higher number. And if we divide it to higher number, we'll get smaller number. And if that means we'll close, getting closer to black. We are, we are getting closer to zero. And actually, uh, the the part here is not zero. The every color that you see, the every angle of this. Uh, mesh is not uh, that it doesn't have the exact same pixel color. So here is, uh, for example, let's uh, take it to the 750. Okay, 750. The 750, this point, uh, this exact here, has let's say what pixel color value has. Let's check. 750, 750 minus uh, 1,221 gives minus 471, and if we divide this number to 6, num 6,966, okay, it's actually a minus value, a minus 0.11, okay, minus 0.11, and if we take it to, let's say, 580, Okay, 500, 580 and 580 minus 120 20 okay it will give us this number and if we divide it to 3966 so as you can see uh, the negative value increases actually it's getting darker and darker and darker and darker so we're gonna use this technique and we're gonna invert this and we're gonna use this to and we apply it to the uh, we plug it to the emissive color and we'll get that uh, emissive um, bright bright color okay so everything um, will start 
uh, much more brighter okay much brighter let's say much brighter and eventually gradually it loses its um, that emissive strength because uh, we're gonna invert it so it will have a, a much higher it will be a huge number it, 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 it gonna have has a huge number which is above way above from one and so it means that it gonna emissive uh, its emissive strength will be uh, huge now we understood the this effect why it happens okay let's go back our material so first of all we don't want to clap um, clamp it to between zero and one because we need to get um, the emissive effect that um, neon effect okay let's say so first of all we want to change the color of, of this um, thing so we need to have constant three vector let's convert it to parameter let's say color and give it a default value one pure white okay so we're gonna actually multiply it to control the color actually okay so So we just we we gonna just see the black and white because we didn't change the color of this material. If we change the color, the white, the the here that you can see, um, you'll see it it gonna change. Okay, let me tell you why. Uh, why the hell the black color doesn't change, even though here changes. So let me open uh, actually. We, I can show you from here so as I said the, this material the every material has some pixel value pixel colors that it gives uh, the RGB value values and it makes the the color so the here is the below of this uh, the values pixel values which are way below or below uh, zero uh, multiplied uh, by this number these RGB values these RGB values and if you s multiply something with the uh, by the zero it, they will gain uh, zero so the black color doesn't change the only thing changes here here is the values which are uh, between zero and one because if you uh, multiply something zero zero let's say nine uh, with uh, any any value uh, from zero and one let's say uh, zero point three it's a positive positive value it is so close to zero but it's a positive value so it will have a little bit uh, it will have a little bit gray color and black color so this is why here is a little bit darker than here okay so we use the fade effect still we use fade effect here because the pixel value of here is way below than the here okay now we can invert to make that fade effect, uh, the the blown uh, the uh, emissive effect, uh, it will have a much more dense light at the beginning of the lightsaber. Okay, so we need to invert. And if you want to invert something in Unreal Engine, you use one minus. Okay, one minus. So if we invert it, the effect inverted. So the black and white will change their positions. Okay. And if I if I change it to back again, and you don't see because because let's decrease the starting point. Let's decrease the starting point and fade sort of and the fade fade effect. <coughs> we need to decrease the fade effect. So okay, now we're gonna make uh, the black color in transparent the everything in black color it will be shown transparent and we, we don't see and uh, the it will give a nice effect um, for our lightsaber uh, when we lighten up uh, the lightsaber get the gradually uh, gain the color the, um, the laser okay the laser will uh, gradually open okay but let's first don't make it uh, we can now plug it into emissive color yes so in order to use the opacity mask here 
we go, we're gonna use the emissive color, don't not base color because we need some glowing effect. Okay, so first we need to uh, use diff uh, we need to convert it to from default lit to unlit. Okay, and we need to use uh, sorry, op not opaque, translucent. So we use this emissive color. Okay, and we're gonna use the same thing, same thing for opacity because why we use the same thing uh, this actually this material has black color in it we see that and we're gonna use that black to opacity the if you want to make something opaque a translucent okay uh, it should be in black color it, it should has a black mask okay the zero means uh, it will not be shown and uh, anything from between zero and one as a little bit translucent effect but one is complete solid material solid mesh okay it will be shown to audience so we plug it into opacity okay uh, and applied it here as you can see the black doesn't show so we're gonna have let's delete this we're gonna have some lightsaber opening effect okay let's say like this Sure. Let's let let's make the effect sound effect like as well. Like this, okay? <laughs> and let's give it a so uh, much more reasonable color. Let's say dark side color. Say dark side color. Yes, not orange. And not purple. Red. Give me red. Let's make it a little bit darker to see the glow effect. Okay, we have actually we have glow effect here, so it will look like this. Okay, like this. So if I if I reduce the starting point starting point or increase, it, let's let's see what is going to be happen here starting point okay yep I think I'm just trying to make is this effect okay let's reduce it okay now we should uh, uh, we should have uh, much more pixel values than the one okay everything should be a huge number for uh, at this uh, point so we need to need to let's make it starting starting point actually starting point let's play around with the numbers okay so okay like this no okay starting point Okay, like this. Okay, we need to make this actually make this higher. Yes, we need to make this higher to see that uh, effect. Okay, so here is in black. If I yeah, okay, looks like this. Okay. It will it will be look like this. Okay. Yeah. You should play around with some numbers, okay? So as you can see here, uh, at this point, what's happening is at this here, uh, the part of this mesh has a lots of. Um, their pixel values are huge like so let's say we in, since we inverted it um, my brain is sucked what <laughs> so what it actually does is uh, it makes the same thing but it's inverted so probably now it subtract this value from uh, Z value 
not the current z position from this value it subtract this value from z z value uh, from the uh, the position of this material z position of this material so we we going to have huge values let's say something like this 80731 minus let's say here is uh, 100 okay we're gonna have this value and it divided to uh, 196 so this part is part the uh, one meter the pixels which are on the one meter Z value has a 44 pixel value it's way way above the one it's 44 so here is pixel value is 44 so it's a huge number since we plug into emissive color it glows like this okay and it loses its power towards the top of this top of this mesh okay and that's it you can play the uh, play with the uh, these values to make it much more so as you can see it divided to when we divide the values to lower number it getting uh, higher and higher because we divide the number to lower num lower number and we uh, we get much higher values pixel values if you divide the all pixels here to higher number since you divide it to high number you'll get lower pixel values and it shines it glows less the logic is this and let's make it and let's see it uh, in let's make a since we done with our material let's save it okay let's make a little lightsaber here okay and ap let's apply this to this material okay but we need to scale according to our material so as you can see starting point should be we have fade effect here okay here is much more brighter yes that's it it looks better uh, when we make a, when we make a saber like this Okay, nice. So we can actually uh, add to a sequencer. Let's make a sequencer, level sequence. Let's say lightsaber. Okay, lightsaber. And close this. <clears throat> and let's add, this. since this is an actor, okay, this is an actor actually. Let's give it a name. It's not cylinder, um, lightsaber. Number, okay. So let's add actor and lightsaber. Lightsaber, okay. This this one. Okay. We need to uh, adjust the colors, okay? Since we made the uh, material instance, we can adjust those settings under uh, the sequencer. So in order to do it, we need to add a static mesh we need to add track static mesh component and that static mesh component since this is a cylinder yes this is a cylinder and this static mesh component has um, yes the material parameter as you can see the material parameters in order to add this material parameter to sequencer you need to add the static mesh since this lightsaber is a cylinder and it's a static mesh we add it uh, here and then we uh, gonna add the material parameter here so we have parameters and what we parameters uh, we have uh, fade effect starting and color so we gonna add all of these parameters to here color fade effect and starting so at the beginning we gonna have a starting we play with starting yes starting will be 
like here yes and at the end we're gonna have full light power let's increase the starting starting okay I like so so if we play this sequencer we'll have the opening light effect and if we make it much more faster we should turn it linear and we need to decrease the frames number of frames to something like 60 it will be much more faster it will much faster okay let's keys are off now okay yep so you see we have effect and as you can see that you can understand from the this um, color of this lightsaber the lightning color glow here it gradually loses its um, intense towards the top of this material okay let's make it like here or 30 frame it should be much more faster yep and also you can make um, this thing you can add this thing uh, to blueprint and you can use it in games as well and also you can add some uh, Niagara system and add some particles effect it looks looks perfect okay that's it thank you for watching and I, I hope you learned something about uh, Unreal Engine and see you on another video bye bye